Hello friends. When it comes to flooring options for construction projects, two popular choices are IPS, Indian Patent Stone Flooring, and Vacuum Dewatered Flooring, that is VDF. Each of these options has its own unique characteristics and benefits. In this video, we will explore the key differences between the two. So let us start. Concept. IPS flooring is a traditional method widely used in India. It involves the use of mixture of cement, sand and aggregate which is poured on a prepared base and manually leveled to create a smooth and leveled surface. Glass or PVC strips may be incorporated for decorative purposes or as expansion joints to accommodate movements in the flooring. Whereas vacuum dewatered flooring also known as trimix flooring is a modern and mechanized method of flooring. It involves a series of steps including pouring a concrete mixture, spreading it evenly and using a vacuum pump to extract excess water from the surface. Installation time. The installation process for IPS flooring is time consuming due to the manual labor involved in leveling the surface. It can take around 3 to 5 days to complete the flooring for a 300 square foot area of 40 mm thickness which involves surface preparation, mixing, pouring, leveling and curing. Whereas one of the major advantages of VDF flooring is its rapid installation process. The mechanized equipment and vacuum pump accelerate the drying and curing time allowing for faster completion of the flooring work. For a 300 square foot area of 40 mm thickness, video flooring can typically be completed within 2 to 3 days, including the time for surface preparation, concrete pouring, leveling, vacuum dewatering, and curing. Surface finish IPS flooring typically has a rough texture and may require additional finishing techniques, such as traveling, to give it a glossy appearance. On the other hand, VDF flooring provides a smooth and level surface finish that is ready for use without the need for additional finishing processes. Strength and Durability IPS flooring is considered to have a good strength and durability. However, it may have a higher tendency for surface cracks due to the manual traveling process. Whereas VDF flooring is known for its superior strength, durability and resistance to cracking. The vacuum dewatering process helps to increase the density and compaction of the concrete, resulting in a denser and more durable flooring. Cost IPS flooring is generally more cost effective compared to VDF flooring. The manual labor involved in the installation process contributes to its lower cost. For 75 mm thick M15 grade IPS flooring, the rate is approximately 550 rupees per square meter. On the other hand, VDF flooring is relatively more expensive due to the specialized machinery and mechanized process required for its installation. For 75 mm thick M15 grade VDF flooring, the rate is approximately 800 rupees per square meter. Please note, rate may vary depending on the location. Applications IPS flooring is widely used in industrial buildings such as factories, warehouses, workshops and manufacturing plants. In commercial buildings such as shopping malls, retail stores, hospitals and educational institutions. In residential buildings such as basements, garages and utility rooms. Whereas VDF is extensively used in areas that experience heavy food traffic such as airports, railway stations, bus terminals and public buildings. In commercial buildings such as shopping complex, hotels, office spaces and multiplexes. In institutional buildings such as schools, colleges and universities. In sports facilities like indoor stadiums, gymnasiums and sports halls. So to conclude this, IPS flooring is cost effective and versatile in terms of finishes but requires more time for installation. On the other hand, vacuum dewatered flooring offers superior strength, quick installation and excellent surface flatness, making it suitable for heavy duty applications. 
consider the specific requirements and priorities of your project to determine which flooring option aligns best with your needs so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching